a big moment for Iran. At the country's nuclear power station Boucher, Russian and Iranian engineers finally start to load the first nuclear fuel supplied by Russia. It's a joint venture by the two countries to show that Iran can have nuclear power while still under the pressure of sanctions to stop enriching uranium itself. The United States is calm about all this. Washington says it sees no risk of the Russian uranium being diverted to a weapons program, something Iran always denies pursuing. We are intending only to show to the international community that we have the capability and the capacity to supply our own fuel in case anything comes up that is unexpected. What reassures the outside world about Boucher is its need for low enriched uranium, no use in a weapon. That the uranium fuel rods come from Russia, that all the spent rods and waste go back there, and that Boucher will be watched closely by the UN's Atomic Energy Agency. Yes, the world should focus on Iran's production of nuclear power, applaud it maybe, and then uh, encourage Iran to stop producing the uh, sensitive technologies that can lead to weapons. And the government view of all this? Well, that what's happening at Boucher shows Iran can have the benefits of nuclear power. But by contrast, it must not enrich uranium anywhere in the country, raising suspicions about its wider nuclear program. So Iran will still be watched very closely indeed. President Ahmadinejad regards Boucher as a triumph, but he remains under global pressure to abandon any work which could produce nuclear warheads. James Robbins, BBC News.